see. Without self-trust, there is no self. Without self-trust, there is no value. Without self-trust, there is no life. Without self-trust, there is no integrity. Without self-trust, there is no equality. Without self-trust, there is just delusion, delusion, fear. uncertainty doesn't matter how uncertain the universe is if you are certain who you are and who everyone else else should be you don't need certainty in the universe because you determine the outcome So, self-forgiveness within the earth's process of the physical must be in writing. If it is not in writing, where you can prove that you have gone through the process of self-forgiveness in space-time, where you can share the details of your forgiveness, which show that you have considered the totality of creation within your forgiveness you cannot come to a point where you trust yourself and share that with everyone else without fear forgiveness must be in writing if you find someone that claim they have done forgiveness they have done self-forgiveness and they have not written it down and cannot show you those writings. They are not equal. They are not real. And their trust isn't real. They are trusting a belief. They are not trusting themselves. They are trusting hope. They are not trusting themselves. They are trusting love. They are not trusting themselves. They're trusting something else. They're not trusting themselves. Within the self-forgiveness will emerge self-honesty. The self-honesty is the foundation of self-corrective statements which must be written. Within the self-corrective statements will be visible the forgiveness that has been done. Within the self-corrective statements, it will be a statement of I trust me to live this now and forevermore. If these corrective statements have not been done, there is no way self will emerge as the living self in self-trust. When it is written, then I ask you are writing them. Within you, you will see what it means to live it and what is required for you to trust as you to live the corrective statements that is in consideration of the equality of what life is in all ways here when there is no system. The system is temporary. Life is not. If you embrace the system, you are not life. Yet as life you can be in the system and remain as life 
because you trust yourself as life. And accordingly, you can purify even the system to become life itself. If you do not do that, you become equal to what it is you are allowing. Therefore, the foundation of self-creation, self-forgiveness in writing, self-corrective statements in writing, and then the third point, living it for real in self-trust, in every breath, breath by breath, realizing that every breath represents a moment, a beginning and an end, in between an eternity. Time has beginnings and ends, life not, life participate sometimes in time but if you get lost as time you're no longer alive and all that remains is thoughts and those thoughts are fleeting moments you can't trust them have a look then the thought says this then the thought says that then the thought gives another answer None of it consistent. Thinking is not a creative force. It is a delusional force. It's where one is lost. And you may remain lost for eternity. Because in thought, in imagination, you are just an energy. It changes form the whole time. No consistency, no stability, no reality. There is no need to consider a being that exists as energy in any way whatsoever because that beingness is not real. That beingness can never be trusted with life because it's fickle. It changes its mind all the time in the name of its self-interest. It has no integrity. It is not consistent. It cannot consistently stand by life no matter what and will remain lost and thus non-existent. Best for it not to exist. self-trust who will stand that will be real life where no fear exists where love is unnecessary because it's just a polarity Because life embraces everything. And no matter what exists, whether it is illusion or polarity, life directs itself in self-trust for the best of all, in every breath, in every moment, in every way.